Hello, welcome back to Venice Sushi Left Marine. Today I will be doing an improvisation um, using a primitive cylinder and the remesh modifier. So it, it's based on this idea like if you have a cylinder like that and then you join it and then you use remesh voxel re modifier, um, that looks pretty good, right? But if you have just a cylinder with the cap nothing so this this will not work properly so that's the that's the fact okay so let's uh let's use spread chalk nodes add-on and i will be using a cylinder and we have these options to turn the cap on and off i want to show you first the if we use viewer v mesh and plug this in select select v and then update so we can see a cylinder and if we use uh, matrix we can use circle then so this will actually work so let me quickly merge it and use remesh as you can see it works really well and we can continue adjusting so we have something that looks like a jelly but I'm not gonna do that but if we turn off the cap it's starting to look pretty wrong but although this this guy is actually trying really hard to remesh it but you can't unless you have uh, something that's more like a volume so this works better so the circle and matrix in let's actually use matrix normal so this guy have a tracking and up value which is quite interesting if you plug this in if you actually rotate the cylinder you can start to see uh, how it looks like I found this this is like a with remesh voxel remesh modifier it it looks like a dirty modeling but it actually looks like uh, something that if you are doing like a 3d scan or sometimes photogram photogrammetry is cleaner but still i mean this is more like a proper 3d scanning so i thought this is kind of neat an interesting idea right so let's explore this a little bit more so instead of using cylinder perhaps we can we can be more creative so instead of using cylinder let's actually use bevel bevel a curve so this one is slightly more complex but it's actually doing a bevel based on a curve so you can do some crazy things simply just plugging line and then have a bit of a couple of points and then you randomize it and give it a little bit of amplitude and then you you want an input input's gonna be a circle let's try I, I've done this a couple of times don't forget to turn on the cap so just like the cylinder you want the cap start at the end um, at the end and at, and at the start and then you have a volume so you can do the fox cell remaster so that's what we get it's quite heavy but it's pretty interesting so let's actually save this first I'm gonna save it as uh, let's see alien flower this fox cell let's actually make it smaller not smaller I mean less complex less detail and then you you can randomize this a little bit more you can adjust the stepping of this bevel you can now plug this this uh, circle and matrix modifier and then you start to play around with this until you get like a flower So the inspiration actually inspiration actually come a little bit from this guy uh, the raflesia flower this alien looking flower this actually gigantic 
you can find this in Indonesia, Malaysia, maybe Singapore. But yeah, so apparently you can get this very very easily. Something that looks really quite strange. Um, simply by using line and then you just randomize the line. In fact, I have another setup that... So here you, you can still see there's some kind of line. Um, you can actually make something that's a little bit crazier looking. I, I, but I like this one, so not too bad. Let's just save it. You could use the noise, noise displacement. And let's see what this gives us. We can actually put the noise over here, but uh, let's see what we get first here. So the noise actually gives something that's a little bit crazier with the line itself. So yeah, it's just really super basic. I think we can control the number of circle here also. Play around with the seed. So it's almost like, it is actually like a voxel and it's almost like SDF volume. If you are doing VR and they have like a voxel painting in 3D, it's actually similar to this. It's kind of really dirty, but the result is 3D and it has quite a nice form as well. And maybe you can do modeling this way. It's almost like 3D printing. Um, and it, this is actually can be printed as well. So it's, uh, it's really powerful. There's this option adaptive. I hardly use it, but seems to remesh it a little bit more. I mean, to decimate. You can give smooth shading. Let me show you what I have last night. Actually, it's a it's similar idea, but I get something that's a little bit crazier. There you go. This one is very similar. So we have matrix normal. Actually, we don't need matrix multiply. Just delete that. It's bevel curve, randomize. We have line and frame number goes in there, and we have circle. And we have something that's a little bit crazier. I don't know why. File save as. Let me delete everything, so we have just this. Oh yeah, you see, apparently I really kind of go crazy, but I forget to turn on the cap. That's why I get this result. So if I use the Foxel remesh, I keep forgetting, and it's called remesh, and it's a Foxel remesh. So without the cap, it actually gives you something. So yeah, I somehow with this I am getting a more complex result. And I quite like this. Maybe I, I didn't I made a mistake here. But it was a, a lucky accident and you get this kind of flowery design oh yeah actually i randomized i transformed the flower to, uh, actually i don't i can scale this the voxel size is definitely more detail This one is minus, okay. 
that for every frame upgrade we're gonna have a different kind of flower even though it looks pretty dirty I mean a lot of holes things like that it's still pretty interesting design just for an idea right so yeah so that's pretty much it hopefully you enjoy this it's a it's a strange experiment I know mm. yeah so we have we actually have these options to center to the origin or not and we have all kind of flowerish design maybe you can improve this maybe you can solidify before you remesh as long you get uh, some kind of volume now we started to see something that's more like geometric yeah it's, uh, it's pretty abstract but uh, interesting anyway alright so hopefully you enjoyed this let me know what you think and I'll see you next time bye